Hey friends, on this super special episode of Doodle the Travel Bug, we are going on our dream drive around the rural and rugged and always breathtaking. The 110 miles of cliff-hugging road, the Ring of Kerry in County Kerry, Ireland. And we're showing you our very best stops. In a country that guarantees spectacular scenery along their country roads, you know their most famous drive has to be something special. This road winds around the Ivra Peninsula, revealing incredible vistas of land, sea, and sky. Now we're fitting in as much as we can in just one day, and most drivers begin in Killarney, and that's where our journey begins as well. We spent the night last night at the Park Avon Hotel, a family-friendly hotel with a pool, and it's in walking distance of Killarney's downtown. We start the morning early with a full Irish breakfast, gas up, and hit the road. We drive just a short 22 minutes down the road to an adorable town of Kilorglen, and it's home to Puck Fair, Ireland's oldest fair. This ancient event is held yearly, August 10th to the 12th, and the youngest member of Doodle the Travel Bug is so excited to tell us all about it because it's in one of his favorite books. Who is this, Alec? King Puck! King Puck! And who's King Puck? The people crown as king. King of Ireland! For three days! For three days, you're right! They bring a male mountain goat down from the mountains and they put him like in this little scaffolding like cage for three days and they crown him king of Ireland and they worship him for three days. And this little town, Calorian, has thousands and thousands of people all drinking and singing and worshiping. The Goat King. The Goat King. Wow. Amazing. So, well yeah. done, Ireland. <laughs> we continue on the Ring of Kerry. Next stop, Ross Bay Beach. This is a beautiful, quiet, and lengthy sandy beach with magnificent views. It's also the perfect place at low tide for two curious boys to discover little sea creatures. What'd you find? A shrimp? shrimp what is tail. that? It's a shrimp tail. Shrimp? What do you have in here? Clams. Um, homemade crabs. Hi. Ross Bay Beach. So I'm saying that right, but this is our second stop, Ring of Kerry. Mm. Uh, that water will wake you up in the morning, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah. It, you Marco, go Marco's the freeze water baby. He'll go out and anything. Oh. But. We continue our drive around the ring, making sure to pull off at all the different lookout points, and we make our way to the Cliffs of Kerry. Maybe not quite as famous as Ireland's Cliffs of the North, the Cliffs of Moher, but stunning all the same. These cliffs stand over a thousand feet above the wild Atlantic Ocean. From the edge, guests are treated to majestic views. We relax and breathe in the fresh ocean air while watching colonies of cliff birds. And out to the west stands the amazing Skelling Rock Islands and Puffin Island. I think Daddy knows. Daddy, do you know what that middle island out there is? What what movie it was in? Skellig. Well, it was the Skellig Island, and it was in um, uh, Star Wars. That's where they found um, Luke, kind of in seclusion. So, uh, you do have to pay to get into the Cliffs of Kerry, unlike the Cliffs of Moher, because this is private property, but it's only, I think, about five bucks a person, or five euros, I should say, um, and completely worth it. It was beautiful, and we're glad we came. Got a great view of the islands and the cliffs. Um, just a really fun day. So, let my Jedi training begin. <laughs> We made it to the tip of the peninsula, and here there's something sweet waiting. In this stunning natural setting is a chocolate factory, Skelling's Chocolates. This tiny chocolate factory at the edge of the world is producing fine chocolates with locally sourced ingredients. And if you brave the drive out here, you get to stop inside for a free chocolate tasting. 
We're finally making it to the opposite side of the peninsula and just in time for an early dinner at O'Carroll's Cove Restaurant and Bar, a family-owned beachside restaurant that overlooks turquoise waters. O'Carroll's is known for their fresh and local seafood. After our fantastic meal, we hit the beach. Uh, but not this beach. We're looking for something more peaceful and hidden. And we've been warned, this next beach could be hard to find, but we're up for the adventure. Hi, Liam. How many times do you think I can do that this trip? That's enough. <laughs> Near the town of Sneem, there is a rare geological gem, a coral beach, one of only two in Ireland. This secret beauty is near Gleeski's Pier, over two hills of roaming sheep, past a few old stone cottages, and tucked between jagged sea rocks, you'll find this special beach. Oh my god, you guys, this is the most secretive beach on the whole planet Earth. We're gonna go swim off the pier, guys, which is not far away. Awesome, sea glass. Thanks, Marco. Welcome. How about you place? It's a fixer upper, but I'll take it. I will take it. We don't have to roll on, you're right. The sheep and goat will do it. Hey guys! How's that feel? Chilly. 13 degrees Celsius. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> so Coral Beach didn't really work out with all the little sheep droppings, but we had a super fun and refreshing swim with locals. And they calmed our fears about the couple of jellies that washed up. They're moon jellies and they don't sting. Oh, oh. It's like jelly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a jellyfish. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. After drying off, we're almost at the end of the ring. We make a stop at Kelmare, what we think is Ireland's most charming village. It's so darn cute with colorfully painted pubs, and we have earned a couple of pints. And the kids have also earned some screen time so we can enjoy said pints. On the way back to the start in Killarney, we are risking visual overload as we drive through Killarney National Park as the sun sets. For more unique travel shows, like and subscribe to see where Doodlebug goes next.